so what am I looking for? In all honesty, I'm not really looking. I'm not really looking. If there's maybe something that I would be looking though, it is looking for new experiences, new um, opportunities, new learnings, new growth, right? New challenges. That's probably something that I would be looking for. But when it comes to looking for a relationship, even a friend, why not? It would be nice, right? To have good friends, be in a good relationship. And if there's even such a thing as a perfect relationship, because there isn't any. Yeah, I'm behind you, girl. Following, catching up on you kind of recording over here so let me look at this dog <laughs> whoa cute dog oh, I could be walking too yeah yeah and speaking of relationship right it would be nice to be with somebody yeah a friend like Laura and our her roommate other friends to be out biking right now um, be out walking walking your dog with your your loved one right his wife, husband, right? Significant other. Um, but going back to looking, when it comes to relationship, at least for me, something that I am not looking. Because I believe that things do happen for a reason and things or people come into your life for a reason and for a purpose. That you also come across paths to those people for a reason and a great deal for whatever it is you just have to figure it out and find out what that purpose is right and at times it can be just for a season oh I like the echo I'm like under the bridge yeah so at times it can be just for a season um people come and go right and some leave footprints just like footprints in the sand and you're never the same again. For me, I'm the kind of type of person that as much as possible, I start with my, my own self and within me. If I meet certain people and if we vibe, right? Those positive, positive vibes and we connect, man, I, I appreciate those kind of people in my life, right? Those kinds of moments in my life because those are pretty rare pretty rare to find in this world if you are finding right if you are looking but they come pretty rare as i'm mentioning you know people just come and go and that's why it's so important that you focus on yourself because you are the only one yeah you got your your back yourself so so you should and must got your back, right? Because no one is really going to love you, understand you and your own perks better than you do, more than anyone else. And real talk, no one isn't really going to take care of you. More so the way how you take care and love yourself. So you gotta start in your own self within right you need self-reflection and you need to ask yourself what is it really what is it really that makes you happy and fulfilled in life because you're the only one that can answer that for whatever it is people got different love languages right whatever filled their love in their life um but for me if i were to be even looking or if somebody comes along in my life whether it's a relationship that I'm at with right now or maybe some something or somebody new you know I would appreciate the fact that I could be with somebody that I share a lot of common grounds you know things that I love and enjoy to do be doing um, I think a lot of it too also has to do with your your beliefs and your values, right? 
you don't necessarily have to vibe with everything of course but that's like first and foremost you need the connection and the vibe like if you guys um, have that energy that, that vibes and connects you guys right so there's that hello Hi. Hey. beautiful dog so hello yeah you know here in america people are very friendly at least for the most part sometimes it kind of depends on the state too but yeah we usually greet each other here and say hi hello how you doing you know it just should be supposed to be this just makes the world a better place to live in right speaking of relationships and connections you know that's the first thing to connect with someone just merely a, a simple hi or hello or even a, a smile we don't even saying anything but if you show that smile there's just something about that smile that could perhaps maybe connect and vibe you guys right um but yeah for me a lot of it has to do with manifestation right now you look at yourself who are you what kind of person are you what are your beliefs what do you stand for what are your standards you know what are the things that you allow and do not allow things like that see no it's really up to you if that's something that you you would like to connect with to someone but at least for me it is it's, it's very important and i i find um value in those um kinds of things yeah hello hey Hi. guys good night um so yeah let me ask my friend Laura over here a quick question hey Laura I just have a quick question a quick answer so right now I'm like talking about relationship over here uh, just just a quick question no wrong right answer um if you were to be looking for a relationship or even be with someone if you are even looking what is it that you're looking for or should you even be looking for I'm looking for someone I I get along with, we share the same interests. Uh huh. So she said someone she gets along, same interests, okay? Someone who's gonna accept me the way I am. Someone who will accept her, who she is, the way she is. Um, okay? Yeah. I guess that's it. That's pretty much it, right? Um, do you have like a type? Do you have like a type that you're looking for, a person? Um, something not really not I really happy to anybody that's awesome who I get along with okay so she said she can be attracted to anyone she can get along with and I think that's like a perfect answer right there because you definitely want to be with somebody you get along with come to think about it it's somebody you're gonna be with all the time maybe 24 7 and you don't get along with not gonna be hard so yeah um but do you think attraction attraction is important like you gotta be physically attracted me mentally attracted emotionally attracted yes, spiritually it even it is why is it that's important that we we are actually we get attracted to somebody that we would want to be with because mm. that's what draws you to the person Okay, she said that's what draws you to the person. Just in case you get, you don't hear hear that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So here's here's another question though. Um. Do you think it's possible to fall in love with somebody like virtually or online? I think it, it is possible. It's possible. Yes. How so? How could one? Be a, is that what connection? Maybe. I would say connection. Emotionally connected. But what about the physical part? You would at least want to be able to touch the person and know if it's for real, right? Because what if you're just talking to somebody robot? <laughs> but if you're not able to touch the person, it's 
if you're not able to talk to a person the connection is what fulfills you I like that I like that I like that wow so she said you should and need to be able to touch the person because the connection of that like physical touch right emotional is actually what truly like connects you like a deeper level of connection you mean yeah yeah it's awesome it's amazing so hey that's my answer right there to your question um to the person that asked the question what are you looking for not really looking for anything no type whatsoever if it comes it comes you know if it's meant to be, it'll happen. If it's not, it's not. There's something, something, someone better. But other than that, just live life and, you know, um, accept people for who they are. Hey, look at that. There's some more. Is that Jupiter? Yeah, probably. That's my planet. <laughs> All right. And a Sag. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's planet Jupiter. And there's that plane, too. Is that Delta or Spirit? <laughs> There's that moon right there too. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Hey, here's some more bikers. Hello. Hello. Hey guys. Hi. See, we could have two skatatis. Beautiful. Yep. So self acceptance, right? Um, but also learning to accept other people and our differences. Yeah. Let me just turn the light light on my bike. Hey, there's my friends right there. Just kind of following behind, uh, recording. Um, but uh, okay, it's kind of going down a hill, sort of. So just kind of lean on over here. Yeah. Um, but then again, you know, as I was saying, I kind of lost my train of thought. So, yeah, uh, we focus on looking for that someone to make us happy, to make us whole, to fulfill our, our lives, to make us, you know, um, who we are. I think that that's a wrong mindset right there. It's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Maybe for you. You've got different goals, you've got different ways of like, you know, learning and growing. As for me, that I'm pretty more slow into my personal growth. Is that I believe that it's important that you work on your own self and your own inner self because if you yourself don't learn to love and accept and understand who you are, better you you can't really expect to give that to other people because it's just doesn't doesn't bye good night just doesn't um work that way yeah or way around um so simple love and accept who you are for whatever your differences is and your quirks and then relationships in life do the same all right, peace out, girl. We're good right here. It's actually yeah. going down.